We've been studying how climate change is impacting the Canadian prairies for about a year now in Edmonton. And on every story, we asked you, what do you want to know about climate? And we've had a lot of responses, nearly a thousand of them. But one that we see come up over and over is space weather. Specifically, does our climate link to solar activity? Now, it might seem obvious, the sun does warm up our planet after all, but things are happening on the surface of the sun all the time. Do those natural variations have an impact on weather on Earth? And if so, is the sun responsible for climate change? To understand the link between solar activity and Earth's weather, you first have to understand what's happening on the sun. So let's start at the beginning. The sun has stormy seasons and quieter seasons, just like we have here on Earth. We measure the sun's activity based on a roughly 11 year cycle with a peak of activity of the sun happening right in the middle of that cycle. Now, during those peaks, we generally see more explosions on the surface of the sun. They can blast what are called coronal mass ejections into space, which sometimes collide with Earth, which interacts with our magnetic field and atmosphere. That's space weather. Solar cycles vary, with some peaks being very strong and some being quieter. Now, right now, we are in solar cycle 25 and just climbing out of minimum activity toward the stormy season set to peak in 2025. Now, every solar cycle, we get forecasts for what we should expect to happen on the surface of the sun and how that might impact us here, but it's kind of like the early days of weather forecasting with a lot of wiggle room. That being said, experts say this solar cycle looks to be stronger than the last and potentially the strongest this millennium. So what will that mean for us here on Earth? And the big question, does it affect our climate? There is no doubt that the sun affects our weather. It drives life here on Earth. But the connection between space weather and climate is not as well understood. Most of the time, our planet is protected from solar activity by our magnetic field. But if a storm is strong enough, it can break through and interact with our atmosphere. During particularly strong storms, radiation can make it into the atmosphere around 50 to 60 kilometers from the surface. When that happens, the characteristics of the atmosphere change, which could impact our climate and weather here on the ground. So here we are at the big question. What about climate change? That's something that I asked John Manuel, Senior Program Scientist of Solar Terrestrial Sciences at the Canadian Space Agency. Space weather does affect atmospheric weather, or perhaps more accurate would be to say space weather affects Earth climate that there is a connection. It's not a climate change type connection, but that there's an interaction between the weather in space and, and on Earth. So there is a line and the scientific community is well in agreement. According to NASA, scientists agree that the solar cycle is not driving the changes in Earth's climate that we're currently seeing. If we saw solar radiation increasing for a long period of time, we could see those effects in our climate. But the changes between solar cycles are pretty small and not able to drive the drastic changes we've seen over the past few decades. But it's still a bit of a puzzle. If space weather affects our atmosphere, what does it mean for our climate? That's something that Ian Mann, a physics professor at the University of Alberta, is working on with a newly funded satellite mission called Radicals. We have a maiden Canada solution for going and basically measuring um, this potential pathway that may couple um, space weather and, and climate. The mission will measure radiation in the atmosphere, giving us a better understanding of how it affects us here on the ground in terms of climate. By flying the Radicals mission, we will for the first time make a very high resolution measurement, a very accurate measurement of how much radiation is actually entering the atmosphere and at what times. And then with that information, we can feed that into the um, coupled climate models. We're getting closer to understanding how the sun affects climate here on Earth, but we do know that space weather affects life on Earth in other ways. During strong solar storms, we can see power disruptions like we saw in 1989 in Quebec. Satellite launch failures are coming to light as we saw this past February when a strong solar storm prevented 40 out of 49 launch satellites from making it to orbit. And don't forget, here in Canada, we see the prettier side of space weather with aurora displays, which are all that much brighter this time of year. 
Now, as for climate, we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that information from the Alberta satellite mission. It's set to launch closer to the sun's stormy season, but as we continue to see changes and effects to us here on the ground, it will definitely be something to watch for.